it's Glenn here from uh, DIY Protection. Today we're just going to do a quick video on the uh, T3000 Alarm.com thermostat. Uh, not a hard procedure um, if you understand it, so I'm going to try to uh, make you understand it uh, and help you identify uh, what to do and what's important. So first thing you want to do is basically um, we're going to take it off. Um, we're not going to take the wires off until we power it down and whatnot, but we're just going to take the uh, thermostat off and we're going to come in close and take a look at the wires. When you're looking at a uh, thermostat, basically what you're looking at is you're looking at the call for heat, the call for cooling, uh, which is two wires. And it's very important when I say the call for it, because all it's doing is asking or requesting it. So at least two wires request it. In this case, there's only one, which is doing both heat and RC. So there's a jumper inside. The great thing is with the alarm.com, it also has a jumper. So this one wire, when I attach it to the RH, it'll do the call for heat and uh, for AC. Now those two, the, the two wires, but in this case one wire, it calls for it. Now those wires require power to uh, power the unit. So what you've got is W is for the heat and Y is for the um, AC. And then the G, which is the green, uh, that's for the fan. So the first thing I'm gonna do before I take dismantle this is I want to take a picture of the wires so they're labeled. Um, and then I'm gonna go and turn off the power and then we're gonna come back and uh, set it up. Thank you very much. Go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now that it's powered down um, we've got everything off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the wires off. We took a picture. Uh, we know exactly where everything was and now we can reassemble. So basically what we're looking at is we're going to be putting the red on the RH for the uh, alarm.com thermostat. And then we're going to take the, uh, the Y. We're going to put that on the Y, which is your uh, call for uh, air conditioning. The W is going to go on the W, which is the, uh, not the call, sorry, the, the power for the uh, heat. And then the green will be going on the G. G for G. So it is straightforward and they're pretty labeled really, really well. It's just some of the old thermostats. You'll have the Z and you'll have the C and you'll have a lot of other ones which you can get into another video. So I'm going to take these wires off and I'll just put them on the alarm.com um, and then we'll come back to you. So I'll, I'll see you in a second. Okay, so basically what we've done is uh, we've uh, powered it down, we took a picture, we wired it up. Connor put in the RH, he put in the Y, um, then he put the G for the uh, uh, for the fan and the W for the heat. So we have the four wires, they're back on. Um, they're color coded in the back, so we have the stickies on to make sure that these, these have it. Um, the next step is what we're gonna do is learn it into the uh, uh, Qualysys keypad. So I'll take you over here. Now that everything's set up, I did test it, I put it on the wall so the AC did come on. So what we're gonna do, guys, is we're just gonna go into programming. All right, event settings, 2222 is your uh, dealer code. Installation, devices, Z-Wave devices, what you're going to do is you're going to want to clear the device first. So click on the button, click on the button. So when you see zero, hold down the bottom. You'll see the little Wi-Fi thing come up. Device is cleared. Device is cleared. Successfully. Perfect. Now we're going to add the device. And then we're going to include. Do the same thing. Should work if I just press the Y button. Nope, sorry. So you always do that. I always both. Disappears everything. Then you press the down arrow. You see the little thing come up. It's reading the uh, thermostat. Perfect. And we'll just call it thermostat. Thermostat is added to network successfully. Excellent. Now it still has to be uh, programmed through either the customer's app or through mobile tech on the uh, tech side. So we'll show that after. But right now we're going to put this back on the wall and uh, make sure it's working. Everything's okay. And we're good to go. And the furnace just kicked in. We're good to go. I'll see you in two minutes.